back to I Can't Play Guitar. We've been learning how to play guitar for three months now, and before we started, we were actually almost as excited to work on, maintain, tinker, you know, mod, play around with our guitar, as we were to learn how to actually play it. For three months, despite the fact that I had planned upgrades, watched how-to videos, read how-to books, bought tools, it became more and more apparent the more I played my guitar and learned how to play it, that I was not the one that I wanted working on my guitar. What if I messed it up? What if I broke it in half while I was changing the strings? So many questions. I started to feel less and less confident in fixing my guitar the more I learned how to play it. So, three months in, and behind us, we have a pile of tools that we really want like nothing to do with. I couldn't put it off forever though. So, a week ago, it had to end, and I decided it was time to change the strings and take care of one other thing that had been plaguing us, the completely gnarly interference in our studio here from all the electronic devices. We needed to shield our guitar. In this series, we're gonna be calling Tech Time. We're gonna go through some first time guitar repairs, upgrades, and modifications for us on all types of different mods, repairs, and guitars, and even other equipment. And we're gonna show you what it's like to just go for it. For these videos, we will only be using our own knowledge and knowledge that we can gain independently. We won't have any advisors, anything like that, no experts helping us out, just what we can find out on the internet and our favorite source, our Bible, our guide, the Guitar Handbook. If you didn't hear from us, if you do accidentally search on Google the name of this book, you might find a full color PDF of it that you could print out or just look at on your device. Guitar customizing and maintenance. It can be hard sometimes to watch videos and know what's right and wrong, even if it's a professional, even if it's someone that you might trust a, a guitar tech from a band you love, something like that. It can be just really hard to know what's right for your specific guitar. So we really do recommend picking up something like this or any other books that you guys can recommend in the comments below on maintenance. So come along with us as we show you what it's like firsthand to work on guitars from the ground up. Today, we're going back in time to check out when we first changed our strings and tried to shield our guitar. So we're here in the kitchen and we're about ready to get started. We have everything laid out here. We got a root beer, so we're ready to go. We have this nice yoga mat here. We already had it, so we figured that would be a great surface. You can see we have our tools laid out. We've got our soldering iron, just in case we need to detach anything. A Little bit of tools here. We're gonna need to take the strings off, put new strings on. We got some strings behind me there, our copper tape, and some gloves. We're gonna put the gloves on and get to work. First thing we gotta do is take the strings off. You can see we have this resting on what's called a neck rest here. It's better than trying to work on the guitar like so. Neck sort of in the air there. So you just wanna elevate it like that and relieve some pressure on it. Especially if you're gonna be working on it in any capacity on the neck area. First thing we're gonna do is loosen the strings and take them off. Everyone does this a little different. Like we said, we've never done this before, so we are going to do what we saw in the most videos and in the book that we have. And we're gonna actually cut them to remove them. And we're gonna cut them right down here. And that one, you can see some of them have quite a bit of tension still. So you wanna be careful. Wearing these gloves because uh, I really just want to make sure I don't cut my fingers. These are vintage style tuning pegs where the string sticks right inside. 
Got that. Flip her over. Just sort of. Keep these up back. Your guitar might be different. Can't be losing screws. So we're just gonna take all these screws out. And that's it, we have the pick guard out, and you can see that we might not necessarily even need to do any soldering. That's why we've turned our soldering iron off, actually. Um, and you can see in here, the electronics will flip it over. So there is a small, small amount of shielding, uh, but we want to add a lot more. We're just gonna measure and fold and then create some overlapping layers here. I know that doesn't look like a lot, but that is what we're gonna do for right now. And uh, what we're gonna do now is make sure this is grounded so it can sort of ground off that signal. And we're just going to take a strip like so. And if you see right in here, right here, that's the ground. So we're going to run to that ground too. And uh, in our kit, we've got some tweezers here and we're going to try and... It's definitely difficult, but we're going to try and connect this to our ground in here. We had to very carefully get that shielding in there with a little strip of tape to touch to the ground. What the hell are you doing? Comment down below and let me know how I can do this better because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Good for me. A little hooking through, but it should stay down. I think we got everything set up. Only way to know is to screw everything back together, put the strings back on, test it out. Let's do it. The sound is back. Right, we got a pack of strings here. All right, flip the guitar over. All right, got them all through. Flip her over. And we'll start with an easy one. Well, let's get the hard ones out of the way, why don't we? Two lengths past, so pull it, two past. Cut, two pegs past that is, cut, and should just be able to uh, stick it in. Twist it. Oops. Stick it in. So 
definitely not. Uh, Pulling kind of back and up. Let's see, sort of like doing one of these, giving it, pulling back up with this part of my hand here, and then pushing with this index finger to create some tension. And I know you want to get it to wrap, and yeah, it's already, it's already good, honestly. Nice and easy. Let's do the next one. I do have a uh, string winder here. Sounds good. All right, we're done. First repair in the books. Let's go and check this out. All right, we're back. Now that it's been a week, we wanted to reflect on some of the things that happened during the repair. Number one, before we even talk about the strings, to be honest, let's talk about the shielding. Did it work? Well, sort of. Still getting plenty of noise, and I think we really rushed the job. We didn't test it. If you guys have any ideas how we can improve our shielding on this guitar, comment down below. I think one thing that we probably needed to do was slow down, do some more testing, and disconnect that pick guard so we could really shield everything. We loved changing our strings. I definitely would stretch them. We didn't do that. Uh, we actually had to stretch them after and then just tune them back up a bunch. The other thing that we did note, if you saw in the video, we did change our strings using this cutter here. This is a micro cutter, but unfortunately this one, while it's a really nice one, it's supposed to be only rated for copper. So there's already some little dings and dents in it just from cutting through our strings because they're made of steel, which is a lot harder than copper. So what you really want is just some regular bolt cutters, some wire cutters that are rated for steel when you're changing the strings. That's essentially all that string cutters are. You can also see there's some cheaper ones that are like this where they just sort of uh, snap it. So, but unfortunately these do come up if you search on Amazon for uh, string cutters and while they work, they're gonna dull really quickly. So we're gonna switch out to using these. The other thing we noticed was the electronics, not so hot in here. Really small, cheap looking pots. Some of the other stuff, not so hot. So we already have plans to upgrade our guitar with a kill switch. So we're probably gonna upgrade the pots and electronics at that time. And the last thing, the humbucker. A little bit muddy. Leave your comments down below on your favorite, your recommendations for some good rock bluesy pickup uh, t to replace the muddy, super, super muddy humbucker, wide range humbucker that's in here because it's just really not doing it. The rest of the guitar, we're pretty happy with. You know, I really don't think we're going to do too much with the bridge or anything else. The neck feels great and I really, really enjoyed doing that repair, it gave me a ton of confidence to move forward and try other repairs. If you're on the fence about doing some work on your guitar, maybe your favorite shop is closed, you can't get out with your favorite tech like you usually do. I know that COVID-19 has created some incredibly unique scenarios. I really encourage you to, just like we did, try it out and make a deeper connection with your guitar. We'll be doing a lot more of these videos, so let us know what you guys wanna see in the comments down below. And don't worry, 
we're going to be working on some other guitars. We even went a little crazy before we repaired this one because we were so scared we were going to break it and we might have bought a guitar really cheap from someone locally. It's a little weird and we think you'll love what we're going to do with it. Leave your favorite repair stories, repair blunders, memories from the first time you changed your strings or shielded your guitar and just went too fast like we did. Maybe you didn't stretch out the E string and it took a few weeks <laughs> to get it to stay in tune. I'm really excited, feel more connected to my instrument and I can't wait to work on it again. So we gotta get back to playing it so we can make some wear to maintain. All right, let's hit that outro. <laughs>